Guys, what? What was this episode of Uncle from Another World today? Like, what? What What a ridiculous show. My face is so red right now because I was laughing through the entire episode. All the way through. And did we get a rumbling reference in this episode from Attack on Titan? Did we literally get the rumbling? <laughs> What an absurd show, guys. Let's just, let's just kind of get into it, actually. <laughs> Uncle from Another World, episode three today. What, what a freaking show, man. All right, all right, so our episode begins, you know, like any other day, you know, your gal, Takafumi's out there getting some grocery, groceries, you know, they gotta eat, they gotta eat some food, you know, no big deal. So he's coming home. And who should he find when he walks into the door? <laughs> he finds Fujimiya, of course, because he invited her. Well, then we find the Sundere elf in there. And we're just at a standstill, staring at each other like, what's going on here? <laughs> but let's backtrack a little bit. Let's backtrack a couple hours, you know? <clears throat> to where Uncle and Takafumi are, you know, they're sitting around, they're figuring some stuff out. You know, their videos aren't doing too, too hot right now. <clears throat> and Uncle gets an email all of a sudden. And he's like, oh, it's in English. I can't read it, so I just left it alone. Takafumi translates it, and he's like, oh, it's from YouTube. You know, let's read it, see what happens. And it turns out it is the infamous YouTube policy change from 2018. And I instantly knew what this was, guys. Like I said, this shit is infamous. This hurt so many people. This hurt every creator, basically. Besides, like, the super huge ones. This is an infamous moment on YouTube where people's ad revenue just went goodbye if you're a smaller YouTuber. And they put this new policy in where you need 4,000 watch hours and you need a thousand subscribers on top of it to be able to apply for ad revenue and i was laughing so hard because i didn't think that they would actually include this in the show and uncle's freaking out he's like wait a minute we're not even close to those hours and we only have about 800 subscribers what are we gonna do so they start going over their channel like all right what can we do to fix this and Takafumi realizes that Uncle's just arguing with people in the comments. Like, yo, this my my videos are really magic, guys. Like, what are you guys talking about? How could you disagree with that? Please read the description before you say anything stupid like that. How could you? Could you not read the description? It's like, and Takafumi's like, what are you doing, dude? You can't be arguing with people in the comments. No wonder everyone's not subscribing. <laughs> and Uncle's like, man. Things haven't been this rough since the sacred city of Luvadrum and the thousand orcs broke the barrier. And Takafumi just looks at him like, you really had to bring up some interesting stuff like that right now when we're in a crisis here? When our jobs are on the line, you had to bring up some interesting, fun stuff like that? Of course I want to know about that! <laughs> so, Uncle brings up the screen again. Which, I love this concept. It's so ridiculous, but I absolutely love it. And we go to the perspective he had when he was in the city. So Uncle's walking around the city, you know, minding his own business and all that. And he's surprisingly with the Sundere Elf girl. Walking around with him, berating him the whole time, of course. He still don't know. He's like, oh, this annoying fucking trick. Oh, man. <laughs> and they're just walking around, and she's discussing all the commodities of the town, and it gets mentioned that, yeah, everyone in this city can be so safe because of this sacred barrier up here that protects everyone from all the orcs and monsters out there. Because Uncle gets mistaken for an orc, and, they, and she has to explain to people, no, no, he may look like one, but there's no way he could have gotten into the city if he was one because of this sacred barrier. And Uncle's like, hmm, maybe I should destroy this. <laughs> So he literally just destroys the barrier all of a sudden. And Takafumi's looking at him like, yo, what'd you do that for? And he's like, well, I just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> and it's here that we get Attack on Titan X Uncle from Another World. 
They knew what they were doing with these orcs, bro. They even had the famous scene with the orc peeking his head over the wall. <laughs> Looking like the armored titan, too, actually. And then we get the rumbling with hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands, of orcs just slowly encroaching upon the city. We even get a cloud dragon, actually, which is pretty cool. That's a pretty cool concept, but we just get all these creatures approaching the city, and Takafumi's sitting there like, why would you do something like this? So Uncle gets on the wall and all that, and he's like, and so does the Sundere elf. And they start talking to themselves like, all right, this is too many for us to fight. Like, we can't avoid casualties. There's nothing we can do. All we can do is slow them down. And of course, the Sundere elf gets all serious. Brings out this really cool sword, actually. <laughs> and we get a kind of badass scene. And she's like, you know, orc face, you may be ugly, but at least you don't hide your face. <laughs> So run away while you can. Stay safe. And she launches off, you know, in a pretty badass way, actually. I'll admit. Going through a bunch of these, it looks like spell gates to accelerate her speed towards them. And she's about to slash the orc in a really badass way. And then she slams face first into the barrier. <laughs> and when that happened, I was dying of laughter that whole scene i was literally thinking to myself like oh this is actually a legit a badass scene there's no way we're gonna continue that and sure enough we didn't because we go back to takafumi and uncle and she's like and takafumi's like wait what happened and uncle's like oh yeah i asked the spirits to restore the barrier you know i just wanted to see if i could break it i didn't really want anyone to get hurt <laughs> So ridiculous, bro. <laughs> and we transition back to the people in the city, you know, and they're like, damn, I wonder why the barrier broke, guys. You know, we haven't maintained it in probably a couple centuries. You know, maybe we should regularly check that. Hmm. <laughs> and then Uncle's just sitting off in a corner as the Sundere elf approaches him. And he's like, well, why didn't you rat me out to anyone? Why didn't you tell them that I'm the one that broke the barrier? And we get a nice little moment, you know, where she's like, mm, yeah, why didn't I? You know, I think you owe me dinner. And then I think we'll call us even. In a really charming way, actually. And Takafumi's like, oh, uncle, what'd you do? And his ass ran away. He fucking ran away. He bolted out of there as soon as possible. And, he's, and he tells Takafumi, all right, if you cave in once to people's demands... They're going to think you're a pushover forever, and they're going to expect more and more from you. And, and Takafumi's just like, how much of a skeptic are you, man? <laughs> so it's at this scene that we transition back to the real world. And Uncle, you know, he's trying to solve the YouTuber problem, you know? So he literally goes online and says, hey, guys, with this new policy that's going on, like, my channel's in trouble. Can you guys all subscribe to the channel? So we can keep doing these videos. And Takafumi's like, what are you doing, dude? The trolls! The trolls are going to flame you in the comments for that. People are literally going to make videos making fun of you for doing this. But it turns out he gets overwhelming support from people. And Takafumi is shook. <laughs> and it's at this point Fujimiya comes in. And, you know, we're, we're back to our normal stuff. They're talking, and she's like, man, it really sucks for a young guy to be taken advantage of like this by an older family member, you know? Kind of like an, an uncle who's just, I don't know, moving in with a young guy. You know, just kind of ruining his life. And uncle's like, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I know, that would be mean. <laughs> and she says, man, Takafumi can't even have a girlfriend. He can't even live with a girlfriend in this kind of situation. And this is when Uncle pieces it together, like, ah, okay, I see what you're doing. <clears throat> and she says, yeah, why don't you move in with Takafumi? You know, Takafumi's bedroom has enough room for two people. And Takafumi's a freaking dumbass. He's like, nah, I don't want two guys in my room. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, what a fucking moron. But at this point, Takafumi leaves because they got to go pick up some items. He's like, all right, I'll be back in a little bit. 
And, and Fujimiya's like, wait, what? Where are you going? Don't, don't leave me with him. Please don't. <laughs> but he does. <clears throat> and it's at this point, Uncle's like, all right. You know, my nephew is kind of a moron for him not to see that you're clearly into him and making these advances. And he doesn't notice. You can talk to me about it. And she's like, hell no, I can't. Hell no, I can't talk to you about it. So Uncle gets an idea, actually. He goes into the other room and Fujimiya gets curious all of a sudden. She's like, wait, where are you going? What are you doing? And I was disappointed in this scene. I'll be honest. I was very disappointed. Because it turns out that he transforms into the Sundere elf. And I was really hoping so hard that she actually came from the other world into this world. Kind of like a devil's a part-timer kind of situation. But no, he transforms into her and says, oh, hi, I'm Takafumi's aunt. You know, it's, it's girl talk time now. You can talk to me about some love, right? <laughs> Like, oh, man, I was so disappointed. I literally was screaming at my screen like, no, come on, that's kind of lame. But they do, and this is where we come back into the opening where Takafumi walks in and they're in that situation. And we're just like, yo, what is going on? <laughs> he instantly recognizes his uncle because he starts bringing up Sonic and Tails. And he's like, no, it's actually Tails with an S. His real name is Miles Power or whatever it was. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, you're definitely uncle. <clears throat> so they go into the living room and uncle projects Takafumi's memories, actually. He's still in the Sundurai elf mode, obviously. <laughs> and they're like, all right, let's see why Takafumi only thinks of you as a friend, Fujimiya. So they project his memories on the big screen and we get we get a little flashback to their childhood and we see this really ugly looking kid just beating up takafumi and and uncle's like who the hell is this who the hell is this person where's fujimiya we just see this ugly looking kid in here and takafumi's like well that is fujimiya and she's like wait what Bro, she was ugly. I'm not trying to be mean, but good lord, the glow up is insane. Insane glow up from back then. And Takafumi even tells her, like, yeah, I thought you were a boy, like, the first time we met. Like, you were, you were kind of ugly. You always beat me up and all that. And Uncle's like, oh, I'm sorry, Fujimiya. This is, this is hopeless. I don't know if you guys can start a relationship at this point. <laughs> And Uncle's like, man, I'm surprised you even called out to her when you found her on the street the other day. I'm shocked you recognized her. And of course, Takafumi's like, of course I recognized her. It's Fujimiya. We're friends, right? Brofist. <laughs> and of course, just showing that they're so close together. And at this point, Uncle starts realizing to himself, like, you know, maybe it's not just about outward appearances. You know, maybe there's more to that. Maybe if I realize that in the other world, and he's like, mm, no, maybe this body's starting to affect my judgment. And that's how our episode ends, actually. Like, what a fun episode all the way through. I can't believe we got a rumbling reference in this episode. <laughs> like, this show just continues to be a banger every week, guys. Wait a minute, guys. I almost forgot the, one of the funniest parts of the entire episode. I can't believe I almost forgot that. So as Uncle's in the body, Takafumi's like, yo, why don't we do a gaming video, Uncle? Why don't we sit down and do a gaming video right now. We can even do Guardian Heroes. And Uncle's like, yo, let's do that. I've always wanted to do a gaming video. <laughs> so they do, and they post it. <laughs> and, you know, they started watching it. You know, Uncle's like, all right, let me check it out. Let me see how good it's doing. And we go there, and there's literally not even gameplay. It's literally just him playing the game. And Uncle's like, yo, what's this? They can't even see my gameplay. What's going on? Like, what, what is this? And Takafumi's like, we're gonna go viral, baby. Woo! -hoo! Doing the moist critical thing. Like, we're going viral, baby. It's the age of the virtual YouTubers. <laughs> and Uncle's like, yo, I don't want this to happen. What are you doing? And then he's like, wait a minute. We have, wait, 
We have 200,000 views already? They can't even see the gameplay! They just see my face! And everyone in the comments is like, so cute! Like, oh man, I love this! And Uncle just hates it. His pride as a YouTuber is destroyed. But then when he gets that paycheck, he's like, oh, wait a minute, this might be... This might be kind of nice. Wait a minute. <laughs> and that's how our episode ends. I can't believe I almost forgot to add one of the funniest scenes in the episode. I can't believe it. My bad, guys. Oh, like, what? it's the age of the virtual YouTubers. <laughs> Bro, this show's meta humor is just chef's kiss brilliant. I love it. Oh, man. All right. Now we're done, guys. Now I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time. I can't believe I almost forgot.